Welcome to my channel folks. Today we are going to see one of the cool features of AWS SSM. There is a feature called automation. We are going to see how to use the automation documents to create or build secure AMIs that you can use again and again in your environment. So we will see first the workflow or that is what happens in the background and then we'll go to the console and see how to set it up in your account. So typically a request for a new AMI starts from your operations team. They might be looking to update some security patches or they might be looking to update some other functionality. For example, a log agent or a monitoring agent or sometimes your developers comes and says that they wanted the latest packages that needs to be installed in your system or there are occasions where your SecOps team or security team will come and say that there is a new vulnerability that you need to patch your systems and that will necessitate building up new AMIs. So these are just some of the triggers that might cause a new AMI to be built in your operate in your data center environment. So what happens when the trigger for a new AMI happens? So typically what do some people do is they go ahead and launch a new EC2 instance and then take it, uh, apply all the patches and then take an image of that. But instead of doing that, what we can do is we can have CloudWatch events, which can be configured to say, for example, Microsoft is releasing on the second Tuesday, then every 16 days you can have CloudWatch to go ahead and build an AMI by downloading all the latest patches, all your agents and everything. So in the, our case, we are going to use CloudWatch event triggers. And what happens is CloudWatch is going to trigger your SSM automation. And this SSM automation is going to have its own workflow that is and called as an SSM automation document. And within that document, we can have a lot of things happening. For example, let us see the first step. So what the first step of the automation document is, it is going to take the, your vendor's base AMI. When I say a vendor's base AMI, it can be your Windows 2016 base operating system or Red Hat 7.5 latest operating system or Amazon Linux 7.2 or any of the flavors that you have there. And you take the base operating system and you create an instance out of it, just like the normal process. But only thing is here, the automation document is going to do all the steps. So now we have created an instance and we are going to apply some configuration files or any binaries or any packages that are required. In this case, let us say some scripts and configuration files are added, then the binary agents, other things will come into picture. Say your monitoring agent, your backup agent, or some vulnerability scanning agent, all those things. And then finally, if you have any performance or fine tuning operations that needs to be deployed into all your environments, then we go ahead and configure them. Now your instance is having the base configuration, then what you do is you go ahead and apply your security patches or updates from your vendors if they are available. So once you do that, you go ahead and scan for your vulnerabilities or if you have any post update scripts you go ahead and run them against your updated operating system once these tests are successfully completed and you get a validation of uh, uh, the logs or you go ahead and process the logs in some other system and the control mechanism goes to the automation document and says yes we are good go ahead and create an golden ami so now we have done all these five or six steps that is taking the base ami and updating the operating system with the configuration scripts and also the latest patches and validating with your custom script we create the golden ami that will be reused by your applications so how do you distribute this golden ami what we typically do is we go ahead and update the parameter store so whenever a new application is launched it is going to access this parameter store and the latest value of the golden ami will be picked up from the parameter store and you can do that through Lambda functions or you can have any other custom run document scripts which can do it by AWS CLI also. So this is how you automate the entire AWS AMI build process in your environment. In the next video, we are going to see how to do that in the console. I've written a GitHub article to help us to go through the entire sequence of steps and I'll be walking you through with all those steps. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.